Every time I go to a different venue for a performance, you always got to ask a few questions like, can I access the vehicles into it? Is there water? Is there drinks? Are shops nearby? What the venue's going to be? Many, many things you have to worry about, especially as you're performing or as a technician for the show. Um, the venue I'm going to show you today is one I'm familiar with it's at my school, but it's a venue that you may have to perform at or work at one stage and you have uh, no idea what's going on at it. In this particular venue, you notice that there's a driveway access for vehicles and loading docks and stuff. But as we go towards the, the front of the vehicle, the front of the venue rather, you'll notice that what am I getting into? So as we walk towards the front door of the venue, you go, there's nice open spaces. There's lots of things we can walk along. It's a big hall from the outside. You notice that as you're getting closer. It's a flat ramp, it's easy to carry gear. There's access up for the vehicles, there's access the other ways. There's drinks, there's water, there's taps. It's at a school venue, happy days. But then you think, what am I gonna get inside? Well, this is where you think about, well, what do we have to bring in for our show tonight? What have I got? What have they got inside? And as we go through that door, we'll find that out. Here's the point of no return. Going through the door, you'll notice that it's a big venue. Basketball court size. There's some chairs set up. And you look up in there as you're proceeding, march into your stage and go, it's a big venue. What's there to play with? If you glanced up, you'll notice there's some lighting bars and then go, hello, we've got some lights here. And as we look further around, there's more lights in the front of house bar. There's even a second front of house bar. And you think, I'm in business. This is a big venue, lots of things to play with. If you hadn't come here for a reconnaissance though, and you brought a lot of equipment, you might be thinking, why do I bring all this? So every venue is different. Never presume you need everything because you could come in here at this venue and the tour management or the venue management might go, you can't use any of this gear because that's our rules, our venue in your Rider didn't claim for this. You'll also notice in this venue there's projectors either side of the screens, there's even lights on a perch, both sides, and obviously in the front of house lighting bar, some Fresnels, some park hands, even a moving head up there, some moving mirrors, and the front of house bar, the second front of house bar has got profiles, obviously with spot areas, and again some moving mirrors on the end and some lead pars. A great Prasini March stage awaits you for the performance that you're going to play that night, be it a band, be it a theatre, whatever it's going to be. But you've got to be prepared to walk in and they say you can't use any of this. But if you come in they say you can use it all, then you head backstage and you think what's behind this curtain here behind backstage and everything will be revealed in just a second. We notice there's fire hydrants, there's fire alarms, the building's well set up. We go backstage, up some steps. We meet, see some road cases and think, hello, hello, we're in business here. If you're lucky, the venue management might be here, a technician may be here to show you around. Otherwise, your eyes open up and you go, ooh, toys, 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 and more toys. Can I use them all or not? You start asking questions and start looking around. You start poking around going, right, we bought a multi-core, but hello, hello. I've got sound gear over here and there's a multi-core and there's patch bays, so goodness knows everything what. I look over here and then I see the dimmer land for power. There's even a little console there. Do I need to bring my own? Notice there's a front fold-back desk there, a side stage. Some other bits of equipment lying around. I think this is a well set up venue. There's three phase, several outlets are three phase. And then you look up beside the Prasini March curtain and you notice that on the stage the lights are lights off and there's Park hands in the wings, there's an icy forge, there's a colour changing light. There's a lead pars, there's Fresnels. There's more lead pars, more Fresnels, a strobe, a projector. All sorts of things are up in the roof and you go, little, little beauty. Hello, hello, what have we found here? This is a thing called an Astraraggy. It's like a disco ball but it's stuck in one spot and spins around. You also notice that behind the tab is more lights, more Fresnels. Up there, up nice and high. There's a travelling curtain. Behind the travelling curtain is a brack wall, which is a cyclorama. But rather than being black, it's been painted with some graffiti for a, a musical or a production and someone's never claimed it. You notice there's a scaffold, which you'll presume you can use to climb up to reach the lights, because, well, why wouldn't you? 
and you notice a few other bits around. You come back out through the curtain, you're looking down the venue and go, wow, this is going to be big, I'm playing here tonight. How many people can they fit in here? It's a big venue. You notice down the far end of the building. There's Ops Land. There's a multi-core patch and bits and pieces. That would be for sound. You're thinking if I can use that, it saves me running my own multi-core for lighting and or sound or vision. Eventually the venue manager comes in and says, how you going guys and girls? This is the hall you're playing at tonight. Just got to move the chairs and tables away. We'll do that for you and bring your gear in. You ask how many people can go in here. They say you can have a thousand standing. Then you realise it's going to be hard work and a full crowd. Then you ask if you can use their PA. You can use their lighting rig, the rest of it. You notice there's some flown bins either side of the stage. If you're putting a thousand people in here, it ain't going to work. You'll have to truck your PA in. But the lighting rig, they say, you can use if you have a desk you know what you're doing with. The problem is they haven't given you a layout of the desk, you don't know what channel's what, but you'll have to try to wing it. So you use some of your gear, you use some of the gear that you see in the house, and that way at least you'll be able to uh, do the show. you notice in this venue there's a lovely thing called a basketball backboard right up there. Is it a problem? Well, not necessarily because the punters on the floor will see you. However, all those lights that are behind it ain't going to work on your stage, so you've got to work out, can I get that out of the way? Some management might go, yeah, no worries, we'll move that for you. Some go, no, it stays. Every venue is different, so just check it out as you come into each venue. You'll notice there's bands have been on here before, there's power pits on the floor, there's traps, etc. You go, you beauty, this is going to be a good venue, good stage, good gear. You go backstage and think, what else is there? What else can we find? OK. You'll notice that across the stage, there's our little things here. There's a multi-core trap that's run across the stage, you presume goes the other side. That could save me a bit of a loom. And the rest of the Taylor loom is up there. There's a fallback that's wedges in the side, or big side fills. There's chairs, there's more chairs. You get back out, there's a couple of lights, a guitar stand, all sorts of fun things. Keyboard stands, more ladders, more equipment at the back, more speakers, more lights hanging up. So this is this venue, uh, it's one I'm very familiar with, it's my school hall. As I said, you look up before, there's par leads up there, there's some Fresnels. If you know your stuff with your lighting, you should be able to plug a few things in and get something happening. If the management's nice, they'll tell you the address of all the park hands, the address of all the IC4s and lead washers up there. If they don't, don't panic, just use your static rig, use the what you can control. You know that there's dimmers over here. So you know that over this side of the stage, as I'm walking over here, you'll notice that there are some dimmers. You notice that these dimmers have got 12 channels each. They're very similar dimmers to ones you've used before. You should be able to find the address button. You should be able to use the DMX knowledge you have to get at least the conventional lights working. And then any extras you bring in that are uh, lights like moving heads or moving washers or things like that, you should be able to control yourself rather than bring everything in. But as I said, you never know. Every venue is different. So this is just an example of a school hall where you may have to go for a performance one time or as the technician, be prepared for anything. Um, as I said, you could meet something that's great or you might need something that needs a lot of work. And look, there's even a piano for you to practice on if you're going. And little lights backstage, backstage lights, blue lights and things. So this is a venue that is used for school productions, however, Depending on, said, on the management and your contract, you may be able to use the gear or you may not.